right guys here it is this is the old military veterans house um, from what I'm understanding is the house was built back in the 1800s um, and it was deemed unsafe so the family moved to this home over here um, looks like somebody's been cleaning it out maybe to sell it or tear it down not a hundred percent sure uh, but we can go in here and you can see the floors they're caving in they've had to use a lot of jack stands to kind of jack everything up um, but you see the old refrigerator nothing in it unfortunately it'd be pretty cool if there was something left in here got this bottom half of the fridge looks like something's living in there too you can see getting up through the grates it's pretty neat find um, but yeah you can see the jacks and everything sitting down there all these old articles let's see the U.S. Army Practical Nurse, 1986. That's pretty cool. Old magazines. There's just so much stuff that was like left here that I don't understand why they would leave all this stuff in here. There's another one. Academy of Health and Sciences, U.S. Army, Fort Sam Houston. From some of the old baskets and stuff they kept in here. Got the old piano. Looks like some of the keys are stuck on there. Close this up so don't get any more damaged. Look at this right here. It's the lady's birthday and almanac from 1950. It's pretty cool. This might have been one of the, the gentlemen that stayed here, either the son or the actual gentleman that owned the place. Gospel, not too bad. Old Christmas cards. Here, what else we got? Albany State College. So I'm charging. I mean, this is the, the the kind of stuff that I love exploring because you get to kind of see like a like a glimpse into the past. 1955 through 1956. Uh, but apparently, yeah, this guy was in the military. I don't know how long he was in the military. Oh, look. Looks like a, yeah, 1980 yearbook. Right here. Look at this stuff. Like, just looking back at how people dressed back in the day versus how they dress nowadays. It's amazing. Let's see what we have in here. Well, maybe an old poem. Yeah. So let me know if y'all can read that right there. don't want to show in here because it has a gentleman's name on it but a treasury of biblical quotations that's pretty cool but from the 
the last time I was here without a camera that I can actually record on. It looks like somebody has been back in here. I don't know, maybe stealing stuff out of here or possibly just throwing stuff out so that way they can start tearing down the place, which kind of sucks. I feel like some place like this needs to, to be standing. I mean, it's part of history. into the other rooms over here. Just want y'all to know it is hot in here as well. There's like no ventilation in this house. Old army fatigues. Military hat. Old military papers. Oh, there's a photo of the guy right there. Possibly after he got out. Look, his old military patches and pins. He was a medic in the military is what I found out so far. Uh, look, there's another one. I don't know if you can see that one too well. Looks like it was parents or mom. Some bottle maybe. There's an old clock. Here's one right here. Maybe of a sister or wife, possibly. Let's see here. First aid for soldiers, 1943. Basic field guide. Look, this stuff is amazing. And I'm wondering why all this was left here. Like, even if the gentleman died, why would you leave his stuff in here and his family photos? Um, like, take it with you. It's part of your family's history. It's like old letters. See, so here's his, his hat with the medical symbol on there. Let's see what else we have here. Making your family life happy. I'm sure a lot of people need that nowadays. Well, here's another one right here. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like 1973. Here's another one right here. I just don't know why you would leave all this kind of stuff here. Old U.S. Army military photo. Right, there he is. 1980. There's another one. Oh, here's another one from him hanging out, just chilling in the army. That's amazing. Like, I love exploring this old stuff. Maybe that looks like his mom, possibly. The amount of stuff that's just been left in here is just simply ridiculous to me. An instructor plan book. Groundhog Day. Holiday, free play. Dentist office. Like you just get a glimpse into people's lives and like what they did every day. Which amazes me. There we go. But this right here is crazy right here. Look. Nuclear and biological and chemical defense. Nineteen seventy seven. 
nuclear weapons and effects. Like it's just amazing. Some of this stuff I'll try to blank out the video. I really don't want to give the guy's name up. Just because I kind of like to keep these locations secret. Even if this one was about to be torn down. But there was an old baby doll and stuff that was laying around. Not sure what that is. There. Old picture of an owl. Well, this must be from when he was in the military, possibly. Not sure. I don't see a date on it anywhere. Nope. 1963, possibly. Well, yeah, they've already started to trash some of this stuff in here, which is crazy. I don't know why you would do something like that. Like, keep the artifacts, donate them to a museum. Look right here. But 1974. It's amazing. Like old typewriter, sewing machine. But I remember there used there was a baby doll sitting right here, which was a little bit creepy, but it's probably what they played with. The floor's falling in here. Looks like an old record over there. Let's see. Nothing really in the closet. Old fireplace. Look at that red man chewing tobacco. A lot of people that used to chew this stuff back in the day too. You can tell this is an older pouch too. I'm assuming that's where the sewing machine sat on top of there. Oh look, old medicine bottle right here. It's empty, but you can't really Iodine. Huh. Some of the stuff in here is just amazing. But I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. I was hoping some of the other stuff would be in here so I could show you. But if you've been following, you've, you've seen the, the photos that I posted of some of the stuff in here. Um, there is another house, like I said, back here. It looks like people have been in here just tearing this place up. Doesn't look like there's much left either. No record. Smashing the place up. I. That's one thing I don't get. Like, why do you just go into places and, and tear shit up? old chair yeah. looks like an old jacket too yeah bet you that was really nice back in the day maybe putting that on going to church don't see much else around it more clothing more jackets and coats. Let's see, what this Athens Regional Medical Center. So maybe that was around the time the person started getting sick. Uh, but I've tried doing my research on this, guys. Like, it is impossible to find out anything on the gentleman that lived here. Absolutely impossible.
Um, I, I have done record searches. I have, uh, have access to be able to look into uh, to medical and uh, military records and I couldn't find anything on that either. Might just be because it was so long ago he was in the military, not sure. Um, but yeah, it's like old heater right there. Step. Little beer cans. I guarantee a teenager's probably come in here and drink and smoke, but look look at all these old Pepsi cans and stuff in here too. Like it is crazy the stuff that's in here. This might have been the kitchen at one point. Looks like Lord of Light Skin, established in 1999, okay. Part of the old countertops. There's not much in here, but at least I was able to get you, uh, get you guys in here, show you around, but that'll be it. Um, I'll also repost the pictures with this video too. So that way you can kind of see what else was left in that other house. Um, but until next time, guys.